Hey everyone and welcome to a different kind of Guild Wars 2 video. A few months ago I upgraded my desktop computer, booted up Guild Wars 2, and was really disappointed by the performance. I researched endlessly what was causing my stuttering issues and tried everything. While I did not experience all the issues covered in this video, I'm happy to say I have finally optimized my gameplay. Two things to note before we get into the reasons that might be causing your Guild Wars 2 experience to suffer. One is the obvious, your computer's hardware performance will affect your experience. Guild Wars 2's graphic engine is sadly poorly optimized, and although expensive GPUs can improve your FPS, the game largely relies on a single core clock speed, and therefore, currently, a GPU like Intel's recently released 10900K series likely will have the best performance. Nonetheless, Guild Wars 2 is a beautiful game, and there are many ways to improve your experience, and reasons your system may not be performing to its potential. For reference, I play on an 144Hz 1440p monitor with a 1 millisecond refresh rate, AMD's Ryzen 5 3600, a Radeon 5700 XT GPU, and a 32GB of DDR4 3600 speed RAM. For me, specifically for Guild Wars 2, my CPU is the bottleneck of my system. If you find any of these tips helpful, please remember to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. Now let's get into it. I'll not go too much into this step, as likely if you found this video, you've already tried the obvious, reducing your graphic settings to enhance performance. There are, however, a few settings of note regardless of your system hardware. One is to set the refresh rate to default and frame limiter to unlimited to not hinder the potential of your system. Two is to turn vertical sync off. If you'd like to utilize vSync, which I don't recommend, use your graphic card setting rather than the in-game setting. Three, set render sampling to native, which ensures your game is being rendered at your monitor's resolution. Four is to set the reflections to terrain and sky, you'll hardly notice a difference. And five, set character model limit to low and character model quality to medium. You really don't need to see every character in your Zerg, and you'll still see your fashion words and all its beauty for your character. By default, your system will want to conserve energy, but we are interested in performance. To change this in Windows 10, press Start, Settings, System, Power and Sleep, Additional Power Settings, and change your plan from Balance to High Performance. Your system may have a customized option, such as the AMD Ryzen High Performance Plan, which I have enabled. This will allow your hardware to get the power it is craving, unleashing better performance. Windows Game Bar comes with Windows 10 and really shouldn't be any source of an issue. However, recording at the same time as playing does cause some issue. Ensure your system isn't recording in the background by going to Start, Settings, Gaming, Captures, and toggle off Record in the background while I am playing a game. If you never plan on optionally recording any footage, go to the game bar and toggle off record game clips, screenshots, and broadcast using the game bar. Not to be confused with DPI, which is your mouse sensitivity, polling rate is the frequency at which data updates for your mouse. This may be useful in some esports games, but it's been reported to cause issues with Guild Wars 2. Set your polling rate to the lowest setting your mouse allows. This process will vary for different mice. I use a Razer mouse and can access this setting by opening Synapse, Mouse, Performance, and setting polling rate to 125. As I stated earlier, I suggested you turn off the VSync setting in your graphics options. This can also be turned off in your graphics card settings, but you may want to use VSync or FreeSync in other games that benefit from doing so. You can change your settings to be game-specific through your GPU's settings. Using an AMD GPU, right-click your desktop, click AMD Radeon Software, Gaming, Guild Wars 2, and toggle off Radeon FreeSync. This only applies to Guild Wars 2 now. While you are here, ensure Radeon Chill and Radeon Advanced Sync are off. In order for these settings to be applied each time the game is open, you must launch Guild Wars 2 from this screen. Both NVIDIA and AMD often release updates for your GPU called drivers, fixing bugs, enabling features, and increasing performance. To ensure your drivers are up to date, use AMD's Radeon Settings or NVIDIA's GeForce Experience. As recommended by Lead GM, GM Magister on Reddit, after so many updates and patches, it is not uncommon for your game folder to have developed some corrupted files. A nice clean install of Guild Wars 2 could always help. As I noted at the beginning of the video, the graphics engine is hardly optimized, and one part of this is the use of DirectX 9. There is a proxy that has been created to use DirectX 12 instead, and simple to install. This DirectX 12 proxy enhances the use of multi-core CPUs and can increase your FPS by 30%. This does, of course, vary based on your hardware. Warning, you should use this software entirely at your own risk. It has not been officially approved by Guild Wars 2, but sits in the same category of Guild Wars 2 Radio, Guild Wars 2 Hook, Reshade, and Taco Overlays. And the last tip, if you had to update just one piece of hardware for probably the most dramatic increase of performance, it would be your hard drive. 
If your game and operating system are still running on an old 5400 RPM hard drive, you are largely bottlenecking your system. I personally run Windows on an M.2 drive and my games on a solid state drive. These SSDs are pretty inexpensive. Your motherboard may not have an M.2 drive slot, but a hard drive can be swapped out for an SSD. If installing Windows on a new drive, changing your boot drive in the BIOS sounds all complicated, you can simply use your new SSD as a place to hold and launch your games. I'll provide a link to a few quality SSDs in the description below. I hope some of these tips were able to solve or improve your Guild Wars 2 experience. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel.